What is up guys and gals, this is Adam with The Game Machine, bringing you a first impression that's kind of a, just played the game for an hour to get an idea. I actually played a little bit more than that, but give you an idea on Guilty Gear Exard Revelator, which is coming out very soon. I got my hands on the demo. You have to pre-order it on PS4 through PSN to get it. You can't actually pre-order a physical copy and, and get a code for it. You can only get it through there, plus I think there's some exclusive colors, so... Um, with some trade-in stuff that I was able to do today, I was able to get that in Quantum Break, which uh, I'm going to play that at some point. But anyway, um, yeah, I would talk about the demo because this is the thing I was most excited to try out. Uh, it came out in North America today. It had been out in Europe for a day or two and Japan for a few for a week or so, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, so what do you get in this demo? It's actually pretty beefy. You get an episode mode, which is basically arcade mode with... Um, majority of the cast that's already been announced with the exception of three characters raven kum hayushiren i'm not sure how to say his name giant robot man with a girl inside his chest uh, i think i already said raven and then uh dizzy who they haven't showed off what her model looks like but she was voted in the contest to be in the game by a bunch of fans in japan so yeah you go so basically, you get the cast of the original Exard plus Johnny, new character Jacko, and Jam. Uh, they are the three additional characters, and you get to also play uh, one player versus CPU, one versus two player, training mode, and then there's a configuration setting, which, you know, of course. So yeah, it's actually a pretty beefy demo. Sadly, no online, so I'm having to play against the CPU since I have no friends around to come play with. Sad face, but and no, I'm not sharing the game demo. So if I get comments about that, and I've gotten comments in the past, like, can you share your game, bro? No, I'm not gonna share it <laughs> anyway. Most of you guys wouldn't do it, but I've it, I just wanted to go ahead and point that out there. Like, no, I'm not sharing my games ever. Sorry, guys, I'm greedy, I'm a greedy SOB. So Let's get into the game. That's what you care about, right? You don't want to hear me ramble. You want to hear about the game. So here's what's going on in the game. The game pretty much is the same for the most part, except the stages are different. I think the art style's a little... I think they improved it a little bit. You can definitely look... The graphical uh, fidelity's definitely improved a little bit, though I noticed with Johnny's animation, when he comes into a fight, his intro looks really cool, but it looks like it's chugging a little bit. Uh, maybe that's just me. Maybe it's supposed to be kind of slow motion, but for me, it looked like it was dropping frames a little bit. Maybe maybe that was just my imagination, but it looked so badass. It was probably the most badass like character introduction in a fighting game I've seen in a long time. Um, not really a Johnny player, per se, but I actually was enjoying playing with him a little bit here in the game. Um, he's pretty much what you expect. Uh, when it comes to it, I never played a lot of Johnny in the other Guilty Gears, so I can't really compare him to the original. I will say, from from looking at him, just just basic looks, he looks pretty much what you would expect from him: throwing the coins, slashing the sword, and stuff like that. His instant kill finish is the slickest thing I ever seen. I can't remember what it was in the old one, but I know it definitely was not as impressive as this. Um, he just basically throws a card. Uh, and then quickly dashes towards his opponent. You see the card on screen show Joker, and then slash, he just cuts, just one slash, kills his enemy. It's amazing. I love it. It's fantastic. Jam is back. She's really fun to play with. She's definitely kind of the Chun-Li character uh, of the game. Um, and she's got some flying kicks and, and all that stuff. She doesn't do this spinning helicopter thing, of course. You know, she's definitely different than Chun Li, but you know, that's the only thing I can really compare it to. She's definitely a more hands on fighter um, than some of the more weapon based uh, characters you see in this uh, game. The only one that I think comes to my mind that's hand, gra hand based, other than the grappler like Potemkin, is Slayer. Um, even then, I don't know if he's completely. I think he uses like vampire magic or whatever you kids call it nowadays. Uh, Jacko is the one I can't really use very well. She's definitely a more trap-based character. And I really have trouble with those type of characters. Because you have to set, like, traps out and stuff. And it's... I don't know. I, I, I just really couldn't play with her very well. It's not my style. I could see some people, like, really gravitating toward her. Um, but, you know, it's definitely very unique character. It's really challenging to fight against, too. Kind of kind of thinks like a more crazy Potemkin 
uh, when it comes to the, the item stuff that she throws out. Like, they all have health bars. It's really we weird and wild. Stages are... A lot of them are the same from the last game, except they're just different times of day or different things are going on with it. They still look really good, but I kind of wish that maybe maybe in the full game we'll get the old stages too. I'd like to have a mix of both. Um, it, just for variety's sake, like so we can change the variations and change it up. Because, you know, the more the merrier, you know. Um, sure, it does, it's really inconsequential, but, you know. Having a nice stage is really good. And the stages they provide here are really good. They also added, um, from what I've seen from other ARCS games, is like a more simplistic uh, fighting mode. So there's the normal fighting mode uh, where, you know, you have to input special buttons. And I think there's like a simplistic type mode. I can't remember the name of it. So if you're a beginner and you, or if you just want to get somebody that doesn't very good at fighting games or young one to play fighting games and they just want to be able to pull off cool stuff real quick, then there you go. Um... But yeah, and, and I did try a little bit of episode. I only played Kai Story. I think it, it feels like an actual arcade mode. It does have like the little introduction. Um, though I will say that they definitely didn't seem as animated as uh, as Exards. Uh, Exards definitely had a little more cinematic flair to it. Um, these are more of the characters talking a little bit, kind of just kind of like meeting up, talking a little bit in their poses, and they have slight variations on their poses. But, I mean, yeah, it's alright. It works. Um, another thing I really wanted to mention, like, the, the opening when the, after the character introductions come, the way the camera kind of just kind of comes in, like, because, it, because, you know, it looks 2D, but it's, it kind of breaks your mind a little bit because, like, this game's not 2D, but it looks 2D. But then this camera shot is definitely something you couldn't do in 2D because 2D is flat and this is, like, three-dimensional. It's like, oh my gosh. Um, but from what I played of it, like I said, I can only play CPU. I haven't got to play against a real human player, but it's looking like it'll be pretty good. There's some other deeper mechanics I don't really know or understand yet. And maybe in the future video, we might look at that or touch on it. I'm sure there's people out there that are better at talking about, um, deeper fighting game mechanics than I am. Cause there was some new stuff in there that, um, not seen. I think I've seen something that looked like a gold burst. I could be wrong. Someone let me know below if there is gold burst in this game because I remember like seeing, and I don't even remember it being the last one, so I could be wrong. But like there was a way like he burst and he, his bar turned gold. He kind of had like a gold kind of aura thing or something around him. So but yeah, I mean, it was just a quick kind of like hands on, like me getting my hands on the characters. Jam's fun to play with. Love Johnny. Johnny's pretty fun. Most of the regular cast, their moves are pretty much the same for the most part. I think once I played Kai, I don't have footage here, but I think once I played Kai, I think he had a counter move now. I could be wrong, but I thought I saw a counter move. And I was like, what is this? Um, but yeah, uh, I, I had fun with it. If you guys got the demo, let me know down below. If you had fun with the demo, we got more stuff coming up here on the channel. We got, we got, uh, you know, the Bad Street Fighter fan fiction contest that uh, Sarah Lachelle of Defunct Games lent his voice to, which you guys should totally check out because uh, he did an amazing job. Um, terrible impression of me, but he did an amazing job overall. Uh, also, we got future videos planned. I'm going to do something with the Final Fantasy 15 demo. I know it's a little late, but. You know, I kind of want to do something with it and talk about it a little bit, my experience with that. Because, uh, you know, Final Fantasy XV is going to be one of the games we will cover on this channel. Uh, may not be a Let's Play because I don't like Let's Play in RPGs, but I will say that it will definitely be covered in some way, at least a review for sure. Um, definitely want to get some news to you guys out on it. Uh, on top of that, too, um, still working on the Pokémon review, so that's going to be pushed because I want to get this stuff out first. But I'm just going to be upfront. Pokémon's pretty fun. Anyways, enough of my chatter. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, fight on.